Okay, YouTube, this is Simply Love, and I'm back to do your, um, for, uh, this is part two for Aries, okay? Um, so I apologize for saying it was, uh, somebody else's birthday or something. It's you guys' birthday. Well, it was when I uploaded the video, okay? Wasn't able to get it out because of the fact that I had, um, boggled up with readings, okay? So I do apologize for get, getting it out late for your mid-month. This is mid-month. Now, I already got part one. Watch part one first and then come here and watch part two. It'll be in the description saying it's part two. Don't watch part one without watching part two. And the reason why I separated is because it cut off on me, okay? Um, I was going to mention something, but I don't think I'm going to do it. So, you know, the, you know, comment section some people like look stop being big babies for some of you you know who it is it's not all of you all of my people really good okay really good um but don't come up in my channel to, uh you know telling me that i don't like a sign just because it hasn't uploaded yet or it didn't upload to your you know thing I, like i said i got a lot more stuff going on other than just uploading videos to youtube okay a whole lot of other stuff outside of youtube so you know i get it up i always get them up every month i don't want to hear this cry baby stuff if you you know if i don't get it up fast enough for you go to another there's so many uh, uh, channels out here and and that's not for everybody. That's for a, a particular person that made a comment about oh, I don't like Aries and I don't want to hear that baby baby crying stuff. I don't want to hear it on my channel. I will block and delete you because this is a channel of positivity and upliving, uplifting and helping. Not this baby stuff about when is somebody gonna get a video out because I believe everybody understands how this stuff rolls. If you don't, you don't need to be watching them. You know who I'm talking to out there, okay? I'll just give you one more chance. Now, back where we were with the video. Part one, I left off. I already did your person and all that, what they thinking. And I did their, um, their love oracle. I did that. And I also did it for you guys in the first video, part one. And part one, I also did your rebel deck and your friend's rebel deck as well, oracle. So I left off at seeing what, what you guys are doing, what you guys are thinking and what's happening with you guys, okay? Sun, moon, rising, being a sign for Aries. This is part two. So that's where we left off at, okay? Again, sorry for the inconvenience, but it is what it is. I can't help it sometimes. I usually try to get you guys out. Life is life, okay? Be patient. They will be out here. I'm not going to leave nobody hanging unless you want me to. <laughs> but I love you guys. Most of y'all is understanding. You're mature. You're not, you know, you don't act like a baby. When you going to get me right now? When are you going to get this one out? When are you going to get that one out? Be freaking patient or go somewhere else. I don't want this channel bogged up with no bullshit. This is period. I ain't worried about subscribers. You know, I, 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 I respect my subscribers and I love each and every one of you. I'm just talking about people maybe that just come in or maybe they don't know too much about tarot. I don't know what that is. But, um, and it, I'm not mad or anything like that. It's just, I, I'm telling you, you know, especially if you're new or whatever, I don't want that shenanigans in the comments. I either cut them off, I block you and delete you from coming in. All right, period. And I'm not saying I'm all that or nothing like that. It's just, I don't want the aggravation. I'm too old for this shit, baby. Okay? So go take it somewhere else. Somebody ain't get something fast. Don't ask me when I'm going to get something out and who I'm going to do next. I don't want to hear it. Because it'll just make me take longer doing it. No. What I'll do. If you can't understand the way this stuff goes, I, I just... I don't know. I don't, I don't think a spirit to tell me what to do. But I am blocking and deleting. I ain't got time. 
to be sitting up here explaining to grown adults or should be grown adults watching these videos about how this stuff goes. And my, I got to give my schedule and tell you what's going on in the background and all that kind of stuff. Just still April, okay? Still April. Talking about I don't like Aries. Y'all know who I, you who, look in the comment section. I want to blast them. Y'all know who it is. Look in the comment section under the what video did I see that under? I'm giving you your attention, bid you want attention. I'm giving it to you. Um what video was that they were on? I might even show I don't have my other camera. Uh what video was that on? Hmm. I'm shuffling right now. Y'all going to do Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. And I'm going to see what y'all up to. I'm trying to figure out who that was on um, which video it was. It might have been one of the fire sign videos. So what's fire? Aries, Sagittarius, Leo. I think it was under one of those. I think it might have been Leo. So y'all check out the comment there. And, and y'all can see who put it there. And all that. And what they said. Okay. Saying I was mad at Aries. I'm not mad at nobody, period. What I want to get mad at a sign for? Are you crazy? Something wrong with you? You need some help? You need a reading? Tell me if you need a reading. I can go ahead and give you one for free, but I'm going to put it on blast so everybody can see it. Being that you want to, um, you want to see something so bad. And, you know, that, you know, I'm saying I don't like Aries. Give me, you know, tell me if you want to read or not. You know who put that out there. And I will do it for you and put it up on uh, YouTube, okay? And we'll have your reading out there for you if you're, you know, the Aries person. It's just one person, y'all. ain't talking to everybody. Put you, we'll put somebody on blast and put you on blast. See how silly you look. All right, let me stop. Let me stop. <laughs> okay, Spirit, what's going on with Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? What's going on with them? That's what we left off in the uh, part one video. Remember, go see part one before you look at this part two. And I will put it up there, part two. For some of you, I feel like you want to go back to someone your person that I read about in part one or they want to come back to you want to resurrect something or you want to make a judgment call on something wow y'all really want to talk too Aries, Aries, y'all want a cup. Y'all want to be the king of cups or the queen of cups. Y'all want to uh, offer your love or somebody else wants to come in here and offer love to you uh, they want to um a solid commitment they want to even give and take okay they want this to be solid okay solid solid as a rock somebody wants to offer some stability in a relationship and maybe for some of you maybe resurrecting or reunion or something like that or it's just a judgment call on your relationship some of you just want to move forward with the chariot card major arcana and energies these are energies y'all some of you could be dealing with a cancer not necessarily some of you a sagittarius some of you cancer pisces or a scorpio definitely maybe a pisces okay some of you yeah, so some of you want to move on or thinking about moving forward or moving forward some of you into this relationship some, some of you just want a, a new beginning you want to, or some of you is saying you want to be successful. You want to win. So we have the Virgo card, which is the King of Pentacles or the Queen of Pentacles, okay? Where I'm feeling that, you know, somebody wants to be stable. Again, this is about stability. Somebody who is very um, stable. They're very analytical. They like things to go the right way. Uh, they're usually committed, the, the committal type that likes to have a family and stuff like that. So it talks about stability as well, being it, it is a pentacle, earth sign. It's stability there. Longevity, uh, someone who you can rely on and make you happy. 
This could be your energy as well. We're pulling up here. Like I said, you have to look at part one, Aries, for the other, your other partner, what they thinking. So you do want to be happy. You do want some stability in your life. You're ready to move forward and win, okay, when it comes to love and offering love. It could be somebody you think about from the past um, or resurrecting something that you're already in. Okay, so we got the fool. So that's telling me somebody wants new beginnings, okay? This is going to be a new. Somebody got to take a leap of faith and leave someone else out in the cold. Somebody's like, don't want to be alone, but somebody's going to be because somebody's taking a leap of faith. This is new beginnings for you guys. Wait, or spirit is telling you this is what you need to do. This is what needs to be done, possibly. But this is, you know, what you thinking, what spirit is this th is thinking for you and stuff like that. Because I feel like, you know, you just want to um, drop a bird and you don't want to be burdened anymore. You want to just walk away from it and be victorious again. Another card is victorious along with the chariot. You want to win. You want that attention, okay? <laughs> Or whoever was, you know, could have been a burdensome to you may have just liked a lot of attention as well. Get Picking up a different scenario. Y'all know my freestyles, open scenarios. Yeah, they're going to be, somebody's going to be broken hearted. Somebody's going to be feeling, somebody's feeling bad about what, whatever. Feeling bad about something. A breakup possibly because somebody's being left out here. Somebody feeling ashamed of themselves. Somebody feel like they got duped. They Somebody's so in their feelings so much that they're not even looking at the two cups that's behind them. There's shame. And you you got to take that robe off. Okay? That Batman cave coat or whatever off. That's what it is. A bat cave coat. And, uh, and look at and stop looking at the bad... Yeah, walk away. You know what I'm saying? Walk to your journey. Have a new beginning somewhere else. Leave them spilt milk. Leave the spilt milk behind. Don't even worry about it, okay? Take your focus off of it. What happened, happened. It's done and over with. The cups are already spilt now. Look at the two cups behind you. That's behind you there. See those two cups? And move forward towards them. One more card, Spirit, please. One more card for Sun, Moon, Rising, Bear, Sign for Aries. Remember, y'all, I'm still doing the $35. Yes, I got boggled down with readings as I posted these videos. Also posted other stuff in the videos I don't feel like talking about right now. But, <laughs> yeah, that's Elvis up there, y'all. That's Elvis. He's alive. He's alive. <laughs> Yeah, uh, something you need to put to an end. This talks about transformation and a new beginning. It's leaving that old stuff behind, okay? That's what this is, leaving old stuff behind. I'm going to do another round uh, with my deck here. It's called the This Might Hurt deck. Huh, love it, okay? Because it just might hurt. What you hear, you may not like it. Some people don't like to hear the truth. And this ain't the channel for you if you don't. Tell you the truth, I ain't sugarcoating nothing. I'm going to do what my spirit guides say do so they can continue to take care of me. I don't need no kind of donations. And I appreciate what you guys do for me when you want. But that's something you want to do on your own. I'm not going to beg or ask for anything because I'm the one built the channel. I'm the one responsible for it. I'm not going to do no Vimeo videos and Patreon and all that stuff. I am going to give you guys a discount because my purpose here to me is to want to help you and to bring you in. It has to be discounts, things like that. Look throughout. Go back and look through the history of my videos and see. I ain't here to beg. I got what I need. I'm here to do my job, which is tell the truth, okay? And then I get what I want to get from spirit. And my ancestors, they provide me with everything. And when I say everything, I mean everything, okay? That's how I look at it, okay? No begging here. I appreciate whatever you feel like you want to do, okay? And, and those who have done things for me, sent me things, 
appreciate that so from the bottom of my heart because I wasn't expect, expected it. I'm not a taker. I'm a giver. So no Vimeo videos as you guys been emailing me and texting me and all that. No, I ain't doing all that. No, it's just a general reading. Why won't I charge you for a general reading when I want you to get a, a, a reading for yourself? Because that's what all this is all about anyway. Checking in to see where, you know, spirit needs to take you on an individual basis, not worldwide. <sighs> we don't want to get that through our thick heads. We got the six of cups, okay? Again, something from the past may return. Okay, spirit, get, let's see the messages. What do you have? We have the... Uh, the three of swords. Okay. Heartbreak. Somebody from the past may try to return or somebody from your past, you know, there was some kind of heartbreak, disappointment, um, third party situation. See, it's the same scenario and the scenarios. Let me tell y'all something. The scenarios are going to, the energies of these scenarios are going to stay the same until people start changing. That's when the scenarios will change. When people change. It's, it's the energies that's out here in the universe. And I know we're going through stuff right now, but the biggest thing at this time is the best thing to do is to focus on yourself and your future, uh, uh, Aries. There's something out here for you. There's something out here that you want, okay? It's just a matter of time before it comes with the three of wands, whether it be love or work or what have you. But I see here there's a heartbreak from someone from the past. Okay, now you're looking forward to the future, seeing what's going to come in for you or you need to for some of you. Four Swords, you need to get your rest and relaxation. You need to get some stuff off your mind, okay? Get some stuff off your chest here, okay? Don't worry because your ships are coming in with the Three of Wands. Some of you deal with fire signs, water sign, air. Temperance came up again. Keep your emotions balanced here at this time. Yeah. Meditate mentally and um, emotionally. Pull yourself together. All right. Mentally and emotionally. Pull yourself together. Get your rest and uh, balance your emotions. You will be good to go. All right. And you'll be able to fight off anything that comes near you that doesn't belong. You'll be able to protect yourself by what? Using your intuition, stay in balance. Some of you dealing with a uh, uh, Sagittarius. Some of you are fire sign. This is your energy. So you protecting yourself. OK. Fight off the battles. OK. Anything that come near you that don't need to be and keep you in like this. OK. You can fight it off. Or is there someone around you who is battling the inner, some type of struggle here? Maybe they've been through a lot. You've been beat up in the past, okay? And it caused you to, or you or someone to go into some kind of uh, mental prison. And that was self-induced. Nobody done it, but it's self-induced. You don't have to keep yourself in a mental prison. That's why they're saying right here, look, these two cards, mentally and emotionally, keep it together. So you can be strong and you don't have to overthink. Somebody else may be doing this around you, overthinking because you are balanced. Maybe you're, you're balanced. Maybe you see something different from this heartbreak. You're looking for something different. Uh, you're meditating. You're relaxing. You're getting things off of your mind. The stress is leaving. And you're balancing yourself with temperance, your emotions. So now somebody feels like they're going to battle you is another scenario. And you're able to protect yourself because why? You're mentally and emotionally balanced, okay? And somebody else is going to be tied up trying to fight you, okay? They're going to be mentally disturbed trying to fight and battle you. Okay, two of cups, six of pentacles, queen of cups, love coming in here. You got to leave a... Uh, a burden down, you got to let a burden go, okay? There's something you're letting go, and um, I feel like there's some juggling going on. You have to make a decision or balance something out with the Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, possibly. There's You're looking for um, reciprocity here in this relationship, something stable, something... Ten of, but you have to release something, something here you got to let go of, okay? And make up your mind about... 
or somebody else or stop juggling and king or queen of wands and pull your life together like take control be confident and do the damn thing all right five of cups again coming out somebody else may be disappointed because you got your mojo back maybe you pick something else there's the two of pentacles here maybe you had a choice and you chose what you wanted maybe this queen of wands or king of wands and somebody else is disappointed maybe a cancer pisces scorpio okay okay um it also talks about you know this was a lesson that you had to learn Two of Swords, again, you got two twos on the board, okay? Indecision and decisive. Somebody's not saying nothing. You know, somebody's keeping their mouth shut. They're not saying, they're not willing to, somebody's not really ready to make a decision right yet. Somebody's quiet. They got their back turned on a situation that needs their attention. This is a lesson, again, that somebody has to use with the Herifin here. Some of you dealing with a Taurus, okay? The truth is coming out. Look. Somebody's got to open their eyes and, and, and make and tell the truth or see the truth. I feel like once the truth come out, somebody's going to end something like they're going to see things for what it truly is. Knight of Cups, a love offer doesn't mean that it's going to stick around but it is being awesome somebody might, might offer there once the truth come out you know because you the truth come out here somebody's going to it was like this no it wasn't it was like this somebody's going to probably offer their love somewhere else with a cancer place scorpio Two people, yeah. Somebody got either two people to choose from, an earth sign or a, um, a earth sign or a water sign, <laughs> or it could be. See that? Hope y'all can see that. Two people. Somebody got to choose from. Somebody got to make a choice here. Look. Two of cups soulmate partner here somebody from the past we got two soulmate energies here okay that's popping up somebody has to is juggling all right and somebody's going to get hurt out of the situation and, and it's going to bring on some life lessons Somebody's getting quiet or silent on somebody, not saying nothing or not even paying, not doing anything. And the Ace of Swords is like some clarity has come around to someone. It looks like between two people. <laughs> two people might leave this situation because of the truth, because they're both leaving this Ace of Swords. They've got their back turned to the Ace of Swords, which is the truth about two people so two people once the truth come out two people may be on their way out the door and nine of swords is going to cause somebody some stress and some delays you are looking at things differently now it's going to leave somebody hanging here okay my priestess is like you know intuition somebody use their intuition or it's just because secrets came out see secrets came out and somebody put a hold on something somebody's stressed out here Knight of, Knight of, uh, shoot, what is this? The Knight of Swords in reverse. Somebody might get nasty, say some nasty things, but it is going to come to a, a, a painful ending and somebody's going to be, you know, moving on about their business. That's a lot of air energy. Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, some of y'all might have that in your natal chart. Knight of Wands, you know, somebody was a player, you know, just in and out, in and out, okay? But somebody's going to make a judgment call in this situation, a family situation, perhaps, or it may, yeah, the chariot. Somebody might end a marriage or a long-term relationship, live-in relationship. Look, Five of Wands, too much competition or too much inner conflict, or it could be conflict, arguing, fussing, and fighting. If you'd like to have your own personal private reading, Aries, y'all know what to do. Information is listed below to see what's going on with you. Other than that, this is just a general reading. Don't do anything to uh, 
into your life for these readings unless you get a personal private reading. Other than that, take these as just being general. Some of it's going to um, resonate to some of you, yes, but it's not your story and it's not telling you where it's outcome and where to go. It's just possible. Everything is just a possibility, especially when it comes to your outcome. Okay, so now I'm going to use my book here, Love and Romance Oracle Answer. You can purchase these on my website. Okay, for you to have a, a, a question about your love life or anything like that from the comfort of your own home. All right. Okay, so go ahead and ask your questions, Aries, right now while I'm shuffling. Two more shuffles. Gonna pull three cards. This may pertain to the reading, it may not. Okay, the first one up. Uh, mm, okay. Oh, okay. Wow. Okay, for some of you, this is a manifestation. This is a starting all over again, okay? Um Miracles manifesting, your dream is coming true to a reality for some of you. For some of you, it's un. Somebody's uninterested in this relationship, okay? The relationship is hopeless for some of you. For some of you, it's a, a communication, a surprise, or a text call is going to be coming in for some of you. If that's answer your questions, okay. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe on the video, please. Don't forget to go ahead and watch part one. This is part two. All right. And um, there you go, Aries. Again, sorry for the delay. I can't help that, uh, you know, had a, readings and things like that to do. Stuff happens, okay? But I always get y'all stuff out there. So please don't be baby babyish about it. I will shut you out and block you. Because I don't want to hear it. it. It makes no sense, okay? And I'm not mad or anything or upset at the person that said this. It was just that one person. Everybody else is cool. Because everybody else is mature. That's what I like. I, mature. I should put mature audiences only on my, you know, page. Mature audiences only. I ain't got time for babies. I don't. I really don't. $35 for one hour, you guys, if you want to have a personal private reading, that special is still going on, okay? I'm going to try to get you guys all of you at one time without this part one, part two, but I'm not home right now. You know, I am in the company of friends uh, so that um, during this time, which I know you all are, so you all be safe. Don't worry. Take the time out to meditate and, you know, come to yourself and see things differently when it comes to your career because you see how these people are. This is bull crap here it really is who is going to tell you what to do who's going to come up i mean i saw a movie i forget the name of it i meant to write it down but it was it took place in 2015 they made this movie and they were all wearing masks like how we're doing right now and they were uh talking about a virus and they had to supposed been had the cure for the virus for these people it was absolutely crazy i'm like these people predict what's going to happen they tell you what's going to happen they 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 hoping you looking at it as being entertainment but they are telling you what they actually going to do especially if you watch the simpsons the simpsons is good for uh um uh, it's not called prediction. It's actually telling you what they are planning on doing. It's not predictions. Let's not get it twisted. Okay, so it's not predictions. It's actually them telling you what you what's going to happen, what they're up to in, in in supposedly a comical way or whatever they entertaining type of way. Okay, so be careful, y'all. Don't fall for the old hokey doke. Okay, keep your mind right. Spirit will guide you and let you know what to do, but you have to stay connected. Being um, riled up right now ain't it. I want to make a sep separate video, you guys. I want you to look out for me. I'm going to bring a, uh, another guest on, maybe a couple. And we're going to discuss this internet dating, okay? Because I've been getting a lot of readings with people with this internet dating. You have to be careful and I will give you some I will give you some information along with some others that's gonna show about internet dating. So look out for that uh video that's gonna be coming up here soon. Okay, with that being said, thank you so much for your shares, your likes, newcomers, you ones have been here for good for a good while. Thank you so much. Again, please 
um, be, before I close the comment section, please don't put no dumb stuff down. I'm, this is not the channel for it, okay? There's a whole lot of readers out there for you. You don't have it. Don't have to be this one because I'm just gonna be me, okay? And I'm gonna tell the truth. I ain't sugarcoating nothing. That's just the bottom line. I don't need nothing. I'm good, okay? And I'm not gonna do Vimeo. I'm not gonna do Patreon. I'm not doing none of that stuff, okay? But I will offer discounts again, specials. Cause I'm good. All right. All right. You guys take care and I'll talk to you next month. Bye.